Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to express my utter disappointment with the inclusion of extending of the prohibition of the cockfighting in the territories in the Farm Bill before us today. While there are a lot of good provisions that will benefit the largest constituencies of any House member, of, for over 3 million American citizens living in Puerto Rico, the inclusion of this amendment will detract from the other high points of this uh, bill. This bill uh, will, have, uh, will improve accessibility to grants and programs on the island, and for that I'm extremely uh, grateful and confident that this will help my constituents. But on the other hand, since the 2002 uh, Farm Bill has been included, the very same wording about the Animal uh, Welfare Act, and it will allow the states to manage and regulate this practice in the territories. And for the case of Puerto Rico, we've been regulating the industry of cockfighting since 1933. This is an industry that represents more than $18 million in our economy, and also more than 27,000 direct and indirect jobs on the island. So we are talking about how distressful is uh, the, the economic situation in the island, but then we are approving another federal regulation without even consulting the people of the Puerto Rico or even the territories. In our case, we were not even allowed to vote for that amendment here in the floor, neither in the Senate. So territories have not a war, will never have a war if we can vote, if we are not represented, but also limiting this activity will also provide a lot of uh, these industries to go underground. And that will, will hurt directly the economy of the island. And that, for that reason, I invite any member who wishes to come to Puerto Rico and see how regulated the cockfighting industry is uh, to come and visit. I fear that the language that is adopted uh, will turn some underground and overburden some laws and regulation uh, on the island, as they always do. And we were going to see a black market uh, pop up and encounter more harm than good, not just to the birds of those who participate, but also uh, for the industry itself. Uh, I, I, for me, it's troubling that the territories were not given a proper chance to even debate this issue. We were not consulted in the drafting of this amendment or at any committee markup or as a congressional courtesy. And we are representing, I represent 3.2 million uh, American citizens on the island, but I can't vote in the floor. I don't have any representation in the Senate side. But then we have another regulation coming to the island with even giving us an opportunity to debate it or an opportunity to actually vote against it. I think even the Constitution of the United States allow states to regulate and reserve those powers to the states. We can't even challenge or sue the federal government with this because the, amend the constitutional amendment uh, provided that the territories are just a possession of the U.S. Congress and Congress can do whatever they want uh, with, that, with us. Uh, that will affect directly uh, the industry of the island. We're talking about not just the rules of constru construction of venues, penalties for events, uh, public behavior, uh, cup fights, uh, the rules that have been engaged since 1933, and this is an industry, as I already said, that the government of Puerto Rico, House, Senate, and even the governor are opposed to have this ban in coke fighting. I think this should be an issue reserved for the states at this, at this happening right now in the uh, current farm bill, and I hope we can have the opportunity to discuss this in, in, uh, in any other opportunity, even having a, uh, a hearing uh, on this issue. My constituents are concerned on how this prohibition uh, will hurt them and their families, and it's my responsibility to advocate for them, as same as the territories of the United States, that we all, or we are all against uh, this prohibition. With that, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.